hello everyone welcome to the channel i hope that you are having an amazing day in this video i am going to show you how you can integrate olama based models with your mobile phone i will be using this app which is free called as mate mate is a cross platform app which you can use on your android phone and you can not only install it through google play but also from ftroid ftroid is sort of an open source a uh, free software movement where it provides you some of the authenticated software so you can install it with peace of mind so in this video we are going to show you how you can integrate olama based models with maid with a um, which is a free application for mobile phone now if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest and fastest way to run large language models locally on your system it could be windows it could be mac or it could be linux now the way it works is that you don't install olama on your mobile phone directly you can't so what you do is you install it on your system which could be which could be your laptop or which could be your server hosted in cloud or anywhere and then you expose that server through api to the internet so as long as your server is available on the internet you can integrate it with this made app if you don't know how to install olama and how to work with it please go to my channel just search with olama and i have done heaps of videos installation is very simple for example if you are looking to install it on linux all you need to do is to run this command for windows just download this exe and next 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 and you should be able to download it i already have olama running on my local system you can see that i have this llama 3.2 latest model already there and as my server is available on internet so i can access it from anywhere now that said and done next you need to go to this ftroid or you could go to google play store and install this made application on your phone so i already have it installed and for this video i am using android studios emulator as you can see on my screen where i have this android emulator let me actually make it white background so that you could be you should be able to see it so this is my phone where i have selected this olama and then you can see that i am chatting with this a model now let me also show you how how you can select the model you see that there is llama 3.2 latest which is running on my local system is already selected let me now show you how you actually integrate it so this is my phone at the moment right so i'm assuming that you have gone to your ftroid or your google play store i'll actually show you too so if you go down and then from here you just go to google play and from your phone just click on install and it is going to install it for you if you want to play with apk file you can also get it from ftroid's website and this is the download apk which is just 22 meg file which you can download and this apk simply stands for android package file or something uh, android package file and you can just uh, download it uh, like i have done on my android emulator and this is the icon and i'm clicking on it and you see that it has started so the first time it will start you won't see olama here you will see a lot of options like llama cpp open ai these are all llm or model providers which you can select i have just selected the olama from here so this is the first step you need to do and maybe i'll just clear my screen and show you so i have reinstalled this app just to show you from the scratch so you see first time when you will launch it you will see this llama cpp and then if you click on this drop down you will see all of these options which i was mentioning earlier by the way llama cpp is for the local models on the phone and i will create another video where i will show you but let's stick to this olama one which is a topic of this video so you have selected olama from here and then just click on allow here doesn't matter really in this case and then on the top right click on this model settings and from here you would there are two things which you can do and this is where this 
uh, gives a bit of, I would say, this could improve a lot. Normally, sometimes what happens is when you click on this refresh icon, it populates the local Olama URL for you. If not, then you would have to put some URL here. Normally, what I do, I just type Olama here. And this API key doesn't matter, whatever you put here, just cancel and cancel and then just keep typing olama and then here we need to type the url which is http then localhost or 127.0.0.1 and then the uh, olama's default port so what happens is once you key in this and click on this refresh icon here then it automatically populates or replaces your local host with this public IP, which you can see here 10.0.2.2. So, this is my internal IP, but it gets exposed to your internet. Now, once that's happened, then either you can uh, simply go back like this. And once you go back, and then again, once you click on this, you will see that your new model is visible here. So, select it and that is selected and you can just start chatting with your model i'm just asking hi and you see that maid is now responding there you go and it is quite uh, i would say nsfw so be careful there you can ask it what is happiness and this is all we are chatting with the olama based model there you go now, another cool thing with MADE is that you can also select your character here. There are a lot of characters, so I'm not going to show you the character because there is some NSFW stuff too, which is for, for the role play. You can also change your own user uh, by just clicking on the sandwich item. This is a user where you can click here and rename it or change your picture. The options are not that huge, which is fine because it's uh, just an um, application for your mobile phone. So this is how you can integrate your Olama with your Android phone. I haven't really found any good application for iOS, Apple phones or tablets. If you know any, let me know which integrates with Olama or run with local models. I have tried few, but really wasn't impressed by them. They were crashing a lot. So if you're aware, let me know, happy to try them out. And I will drop the link to this made in videos description. If you are stuck or have any questions, feel free to ask. Also, before I go, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures output according to the shape of your query. It is robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and I will drop the link to their website in a video's description so do check them out. That's it. I hope this was useful. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.